<laughs> How are you all doing today? Good. Um, my name is Hanin. Um, I'm a student at MVCC. My major is dental hygienist. And um, today I'm going to tell you my story and how I come to America. Uh, I'm Palestinian. I was born in Iraq. So in 1948, uh, my grandparents, when Israel took over Palestine, uh, my grandparents had to leave. So they were forced to leave their home and they went to Iraq. And uh, my parents were born there and I was born there as well. Um, life there before the war, it was peaceful. We were all living in a peaceful, like peaceful place. Uh, no discrimination. Uh, everyone loves each other. But after the war, like um, when the war started between America and Iraq, uh, I was eight years old. I was a child. I experienced the war. Um, war is awful, you know. I could see the rockets. My city in Iraq, it was uh, in the capital in Baghdad. Uh, my city was very dangerous. We had the army base behind our houses. So whenever the rockets can, whenever like they, the army send the rocket or the American like you know, drop rocket, I could see them. We could see them out of the window or outside. And um, so the war, like, like it was very hard during the war. So um, after that, like after the war, like our life has changed. Um, we started like facing discrimination, especially because we're Palestinian. It was very hard for us because we never, like we don't, we're, we're not allowed to have a citizenship. We, we basically, we lived our life without a citizenship. I just became, I'm like, I'm gonna go through it in the start. I became a city, American citizen uh, last year. So this was my first time having a citizenship as well as my parents. My dad, he's like 63. It was like his first time having a citizenship. So, uh, the circumstances got very bad, the conditions in Iraq, so my parents decided to go to a refugee camp. So they, so we, like us, so we can be in a safer place. So in 2007, uh, we went to a refugee camp, and that refugee camp was on the border between Iraq and Syria. It's called Al Walid Camp. Uh, we stayed there for three years, and those three years were very, extremely difficult. We face a lot of hardship. Imagine you're living in a life, like it's only desert, you don't have houses, uh, but you just live in a tent, just like those uh, camps that the Syrian refugees are living now, you see them on TV. So I lived there and my parents lived there, my family for three years. It, like living in a refugee camp, it was like very, very hard. It's desert no houses it was very cold during the winter and it was very hot during the summer and during the summer there were like a lot of fire happens because since that tent were made up from cloth it would catch on fire very quickly uh, so if we don't control one tent it would take the whole line and you lose everything your papers your furniture your everything so uh, those three years were very hard. I don't know how we survived them. We thought we are gonna stay there forever. Like, but we didn't lose hope because hope that what kept us alive. And um, so in 2010, uh, our name was chosen to come to America. And some people think refugee could choose what country they wanted to go to, which is wrong. Um, we didn't, we didn't have the option to choose where we want to go. My older sister, uh, her case was chosen to go to Norway, to Europe. So she went, she left before us and uh, luckily America like chose us. So uh, at first of course we were, we had a bad idea about America and about American. So we didn't want it to come but we didn't have a choice. We said uh, we had to go, otherwise we're gonna just stay in the desert, in the camp. So um, we came here uh, May, to, May 24th, 2010. I was 14. I started, um, I went to Proctor. I started my ninth grade. And then uh, 
after like one year, two years, we started to acclimate and then uh, I made friends, my wonderful teachers, like they supported me, I learned the language and um, my idea started to change about America and American. And before I come here, I thought, like, as soon as I got off the plane, somebody will shoot me. Like, this bad, <laughs> how I was, how I thought about it. So, uh, but after I went to school, uh, I made friends, my teachers helped me, and uh, my idea started to change. So whenever my relatives talk, like, talk to me, they're like, oh, honey, you're, like, at first, they, they told me, you're lucky, you're going to America. I'm like, no, I'm not lucky, I don't want to go. And then, after that, um, now, like, I, like, now America is home. Like, I can't imagine myself being anywhere else, living anywhere else beside America. So now, like, after I told them, no, like, the bad idea that I had about America and the American completely changed. Because, you know, I experienced war. I saw, like, all the terrible stuff. And whenever, like, the soldier used to come, because they used to do uh, checking, they go to the houses and they check. I used to be so scared. But now I even have, like, American soldiers, friends. <laughs> so, um, but my idea changed about them. And, uh, here I am now, uh, so of course it's a big thanks to my parents because without them I won't be here, I won't, like maybe I, we would be dying over there, maybe we weren't alive. So uh, my family decided to go to the camp and so we can, us, their, like their, us, their children so we can be in a safer place. And here I am today, I am um, very grateful to America and I am accomplishing my dreams. I go to college, like if I was in the camp, I didn't maybe went to school because, or I, I'm not gonna, I didn't have a life if I weren't there. So now I'm, I graduated from Proctor and I go to MV, I wanna be a dental hygienist. And uh, one of my goals, I wanted to write a book um, and uh, yeah, this is how I come here. <laughs> yeah.